off the edge runs for Sri Lanka doesn't matter what is important for them is to get a solid start well, may not be a very solid looking shot but the Queller is on his way yeah, off a thick outside edge he went pretty hard at this one uh, Dick Weller he was lucky that that went wide of second slip where a third slip would have been normally no real foot movement there it wasn't full enough to drive either Abes oh dropped him would have been an outstanding catch and he held on to it I can tell you that was class and on his debut would have been a catch to remember for him he had it as well he moved really well Heinrich class and he's a, a wicket keeper normally and just as he came down as he fell the ball popped out it's a good effort at extra cover dives to his left it's in there and then as his elbows hit the ground it bounces out correction it's not his debut but still oh that would have been an outstanding catch that he held on to it good effort two hands no way you can boss it now 11th over no wickets you put on 50 together taken your time played yourself in would mean you can impose yourself like this excellent shot by Upal Taranga picked the right one to hit it was full mid offs up in the circle that came right out of the middle of the bat so it was excellent timing by him gone just as we were saying that Dumini picks up a wicket that's a massive bonus for South Africa yeah, I don't think you'd be too happy with this shot uh, Dick Weller has been hitting the ball well and he's just been standing there and using the full face of the bat this is like a tricky little paddle sweep he tries to play picks a wrong delivery misjudged it completely it comes off uh, a leading edge a top edge and just uh, straight up in the air the easiest of catches for Quinton de Kock so he had a good start he had an opportunity he had some overs left to bat too but he's gone for 34 Sri Lanka lose their first 61 for one oh hammered it's out of here well this will give him confidence so Mendes has been uh, struggling but to uh, hit this beautifully picked the right one to hit as well JP Dumini just tossed this one up it was in the slot and that slot sweep was perfectly executed clean strike lovely shot doesn't even bother to run he knows he's hit that well got him brilliant brilliant comeback Mulder picks up Upul Taranga Upul Taranga 36 92 for two yeah! that's great Hannibal gives it umpire Hannibal takes his time Mendes is gone for 14 100 for three Sri Lanka Short delivery, it's gone the distance. Kusal Pereira enjoying himself again. The angle, a short delivery, and no protection as well on the boundary. Well, the coming round the wicket, he's trying to tuck up the left hander and he gives himself some room. Angelo Matthews makes that position even better. First ball of the over. Makes his move. There has been some wonderful striking. Another example of that to the pitch. It's nice and slow up above the eye line and he can get to it. And he knows if he gets anywhere close, he's got the power. He's got the bat too that will get him over the ropes. Sails a long way for six. Quentin the cop takes a blinder behind. Angelo Matthews. To see the back of Angelo Matthews for 22. 159 for four.
in the gap, skims off the surface and goes for four. That's how to salt the over. A half century to Cusol Pereira. 11th in one day internationals, a second for the series. He's gone at it. It's come off just 28 balls, very entertaining. Oh, brilliant knock. Wonderfully played. Now he's got 50. He's got to understand the next 50 he makes will make the difference for Sri Lanka's fortunes. Man out there, man out there, taken. A slower delivery and Giti with the breakthrough once again. Dananja 10, 183 for 5. Down the ground. Oh, will it be taken? I think it is. Kusal Pereira goes. He goes for 51. Well played, 51. But unfortunately, he's tossed it away. 195 for 6. That's on Sharnaka this time. Is that 4 or 6? It's 6. It's gone all the way. He has the reputation of being a big hitter. Has a record in the domestic uh, six hitting, and uh, that's a good slog sweep. There's an element of risk. This was airborne, but uh, he made it go behind square on the leg side. There was no field there. There's a man at squarish mid wicket on the boundary. That's too short. It's gone almost to the scoreboard that was a slow bouncer and that's from Sharnaka just bouncing on it wow that's impressive from Sharnaka so good shot straight down the ground in the last over this is the slow ball bouncer from Beth Lequire it sticks in the wicket he pauses waits for the optimal moment and absolutely smashes it six Oh, if he'd been back, if he'd been on the fence. Third six for Dasun Shanaka, who's striking it really, really nicely. 250 up for the Sri Lankans. We've seen quite a few flat sixes. Maybe not. Maybe that made no difference. Struck it well. And yes, it's gone out the ground. What a strike. It's like he's been waiting for just that ball. Absolutely smoked that for six. Told you so. Closer to him. Around his waist. Long on mid-wicket. Well, you better watch out. You got to get it into his chin. Or make him fetch it. Mid off is up. All the way to. Yeah, superb work this by. To Sara Pereira. More. There's more. What a way to bring up a half century. His maiden one day international. Half century, Dawson Shanaka. Well played. Oh, that's a brilliant knock. Just 30 balls. A half century for Tisara Pereira as well. His ninth in one day internationals. This one off 44 balls. Made 49 in Dambulla. Slower ball, picked and dispatched. Six more. 300. 300 on the board for Sri Lanka. Oh, he's been wonderful, Dasun Shanaka, today. The knuckle ball. He waits for it. 
still able to create a lot of pace behind it. Out. Straight to cover. And a wonderful innings comes to an end. He'll be applauded as he walks off. Garson Shanaka. He has entertained here at Palakele. Final ball of the innings then. No contact made. Dot ball to finish. Nine off the final over. And a wicket in that as well. 306 for seven is what Sri Lanka have got. Oh, inside edge. Could have easily gone onto the stumps, but instead, first boundary of the innings. Oh, that's poor cricket all round. It wasn't a good delivery. Very wide outside off stump. Quinton the cock had a waft at it. Could easily have dragged it back onto the stumps. No footwork at all. Poor delivery. That's hammered through the covers. 16 of just nine balls from Quinton the cock. So he's got off to a really good start. It's a little bit of turn, Akira Dananja. Gives himself room. Wow. Straight down the ground. Has it gone all the way? Yes, it has. Excellent, Quentin de Kock. Just gave himself a little bit of room. And that's uh, where the bowlers are going to have problems with the wet ball. But he struck this beautifully. Got outside leg stump, freed up his arms. Balled him, full toss. He looks at the umpire, but I'm sure he's not going to get the call in his favor. That was dipping. All right, he's definitely not going to get a call in his favor there. He just missed a full one. Quinton de Cox dismissed for 23. South Africa 34 for one. Four more. Hashim Amla, he's striking it nicely. Carrying on where he left off on Sunday, Hashim Amla. Looked really good in that uh, international, the third one, when he got a half century again tonight. One more ball of the power play. And I think that's what Hashim Amla is trying to cash in on. Blanca picked up a wicket in the last over, but it's not slowed South Africa down. Got him. Hendricks goes and Dasun Shanaka picks up a wicket. It looks like it's his day. Certainly has been so far. So not to be for Riza Hendricks today. Played brilliantly on Sunday but uh, couldn't repeat that performance in the shortened game. So he'll be uh, a little bit disappointed but Sri Lanka. Falls to him nicely. Riza Hendricks is out for two. 51 for two. There he goes again. That is some shot for six. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. No holding back from JP Dumini. Used to the feet. Even he enjoyed that. His little smile on his face. Got a little comment there from Hashimamla. But he advances, absolutely middles it. Went high up into the air, but from the commentary box position, we could tell that it was contact good enough. Wow, I tell you what, I don't think JP Dumini has ever struck it better. One innings, I remember one innings at Melbourne Cricket Ground, that's the only other time. And he struck it just as he's striking it on this tour. Yeah, the word tracer bullet comes to mind as he just sends it through the covers. Some supreme pace. Got a hold of that. Oh, what a sound off his bat. Six beautiful runs, those. It's a big bank ball. Use of the feet sliding into the, the legs and JP Dumini he is not holding back at all. Gets into the position and just whoosh. He knows he's hit it well. He closes the hours and then looks back just to check how far it's gone exactly. Well, we can tell him it was 96 meters. Sliced it, Hashimamla. 
and Kamara makes no mistake. Well played 40 from Mamlov, just 23 deliveries, 108 for three. Shot, oh yes, that's a beauty to start off. You get the thinking of Dunninger, he's just bowling his second delivery to glass, he thinks, well, okay, I'll go for the variation, he hasn't seen me, I'll just bowl them the leg spin or the googly, Glasson just picks it, opens up the front leg, whack over extra cover. Well, he hasn't been out in the middle on this tour so far, but you wouldn't think so from that second delivery. A couple of runs here. In fact, it might be four. It is a boundary. Glasson backing away. Dananjay is still from round the wicket, sliding on. Very good striker of the ball, Heinrich Glasson. Played some good innings for South Africa at times when he's had opportunities. He's a good finisher. Inside. Oh, is that taken? I think it has been. Angelo Matthews, the captain. That is a very good catch. Klaassen gone for 17, 129 for four. Wants a single. And oh, no, that is a direct hit. It is a direct hit. And that's the end of JP Dumini. Sri Lanka have got another one. How crucial will this be? Another look, Dasun Shanaka. Good piece of work. And one stump to aim and brilliant. And the Sri Lankans are cock a hoop. So many run out to 38. It's 130 for five. In there, just past that fieldsman. Peck Lukwayo gets the second boundary. Little bit upish. Straight down the ground. Has it gone all the way? In fact, it has. He's a powerful striker. Well, David Miller is a wicket that Sri Lanka need. If they want to have any hope of winning this game. Very good in these situations. Finishing games off. Good use of the feet. A driven six. Didn't go too high, but... Well, Dharanja Silva knows straight away. Bought it! That's another one. Tisara Pereira has struck. So, Andili Pink Lequire has gone for nine. 149 for six. Oh, yes! Bian Mulder is out for four. 155 for seven. Shot. Beautifully struck. Nobody's stopping that. It's gone for four. A big blow to Sri Lanka that. Almost down to a runner ball. Bowl him. Tessara Pereira hits the stumps once again. Maharaj's got to go. Lakmal has got Miller. Oh, wow, that could be the stroke that wins it. Just the one. Arms aloft. For Saranga Lakmal. And for the rest of the Sri Lankans as well. On the field and in the Palakela International Cricket Stadium. Sri Lanka win by three runs. They're loving it. 11 losses on the trot to South Africa. And they've clinched one. Dominant batting performance. But then, in the middle of the innings, of the middle of the South African innings, it looked like South Africa will do it easy. They have fought back.